Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex with GuitarForce.com. As you can see today, we're going to take a look at John Mayer's version of uh, Like a Rolling Stone, uh, which was originally recorded, written by Bob Dylan and also covered by Jimi Hendrix at uh, the Monterey Pop Festival. Um, now, this was another supported request by Johannes. Uh, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, uh, but uh, thanks very much and I hope you like this lesson. Uh, now, this version is uh, in the same kind of style as Jimmy's and uh, there are a lot of uh, cool stuff that you can take away from licks and all sorts of things and uh, use them in your own playing. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, in learning how to play in the same kind of style, I have a couple of um, video lessons that you might be interested in and uh, I'm gonna post the links in the description box down below and also on the screen and uh, it's basically the one is um, you know very long uh, two parts of uh, Jimi Hendrix's style of playing and another uh, lesson is on the uh, cage system but it's uh, you know it has more stuff in it I will not talk about it in this video but will leave you uh, the links and if you're interested please check them out and that way you're gonna be supporting me as well now, the uh, tabs are going to be available at guitarforce.com for free. Unfortunately, I don't have the backing track for this song. And um, as far as the sound, again, I was using the, um, uh, the VST plugin guitar rig with the preset. Uh, again, I'm going to post a picture on the screen for you to see uh, the, um, what preset I was using. And uh, while you are checking out the picture, we're going to be in standard tuning, and here is my low E for your tuning reference. Alright, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so before we start breaking down this song, let me tell you a couple of things why this um, John Mayer's version is different to the original version, which, is, which was written by Bob Dylan, and also Jimi Hendrix played uh, exactly the same as the original version. Um, now, Bob Dylan wrote this song in the key of C, right, so the intro part, which is also for the chorus, goes C, F to G these three chords. Now what John did is um, he took all the uh, progressions, all of the chords and transposed them down a minor third. So now instead of C, we start with an A. Okay, so now these three chords C, F and G become A, D and E. Okay, now uh, in the intro, John is just playing these three chords. Alright, uh, so like I said, the intro part and the chorus are exactly the same using the same chords. And um, the shapes that John is using for, for these chords, first one A, just a standard A chord like that. For D he uses also the D standard chord with an open string and uh, he's not using the high E string and later, later on uh, I'll explain why not. And then for the E chord we're gonna be using this one. Uh, now this is a um, <clears throat> E chord in the shape of C if you know the cage system. Okay so it looks like this but he doesn't play the fifth string he mutes it and he's using these three strings and also the low E. Okay, so like I said in the beginning he just plays the chords, then he goes into a little solo. Now for the solo he's using um, the uh, A major pentatonic and its relative would uh, relative minor would be F sharp. Okay, so whichever way is um, you know easier for you to think, you can use either because they sharing the same notes. So, like I said, he's using A major pentatonic uh, for the solo for the first part, and actually by the end of the solo, he switches to A minor. You know, 
just playing um, this kind of licks using the uh, A minor. And then for the um, for the last chord of the uh, of of the chorus. <laughs> So here we are just using E sus2, but we are using just the first three strings. And then he um, plays around between the, um, the second and the major third. Okay, so basically that's the uh, intro, and then after that we go into the first verse. Now the chord progression for the verses goes like this. We have A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D and E. Okay, and he's using primarily um, the chords of the uh, six string root note. So just like I played them right here. For the E chord he uses different variations, sometimes he just plays, you know, this kind of chord which is using the higher register of E, so we have basically an E power chord, right, using the D and the G strings, low E string open, and the high E and the B strings also you can add them, you know, just creating this bigger sound. Sometimes he would use the uh, first inversion of E chord, which is, uh, we have the uh, third in the bass. Alright, so here on the 11th fret of the uh, A string, which is the third again. And he might use just uh, some of the strings, some of the notes from the chord, not entirely the chord. Okay. Okay, so the first part of the verse goes like this. Okay, so here what we do, we sort of uh, outline the chords first and uh, we sort of break them down. So we play on the bass note and then just hitting that higher strings of the chord. And we go through the progression, so A to B minor, C sharp minor, to D. And then we are uh, use, um, playing the E chord, different uh, voicings like I told you before. And then we just add little um, licks. And all these licks are using the relative pentatonic scale of the chord. So for the E, right here we have... Um, its relative minor pentatonic would be C sharp minor, if, you, if it's easier for you to think like that. But it's uh, E major... Um, exactly the same notes, okay? So what we do, we use kind of Jimi Hendrix, Steve Ray Vaughan style by using the uh, hammer-ons, pull-offs and also grace notes. Okay, so then after that we play the progression second time in a sort of se similar fashion. So again, a little bit different, he uh, plays the chords, uh, you know, ag again, uh, breaking them down. So playing the bass note, outlining the chord, then when he goes to minor, he uses this hammer-ons pull-offs in the in style of Jimi Hendrix and Steve Ray Vaughan also. Okay, and again we're using just uh, the um, relative pentatonics. So uh, when we get to the D chord, 
this is just using the first position of D major. Okay, but again in this kind of fashion, using hammer-ons and pull-offs. Then we're staying back to the um, E chord, and we have this little phrase, so slide to the 11th fret of the G string, and then 10th fret of the B, which is the A note. Okay, then we slide out and we go into the next part, which is pre-chorus. Now for the pre-chorus, um, the, uh, the chords go like this. We play D to E, and we play this two times. So back to D to E, and then we have second part of the pre-chorus, which is D, C sharp minor, B minor, to A, we repeat it one more time, so D, C sharp minor, B minor, A. Okay, so let's break down this part so far. So we have D, okay, so when we play between these two chords, it's um, again he's using different variations here. And uh, you can just strum the chords or kind of arpeggiate them. All right. And then for the second part, when we go into this um, D, C sharp minor, B minor, A, what he does is he, he goes like this, he plays. Okay, so he just holds the D chord like that, and then instead of using the whole chord, C sharp minor, B minor, A, what he does is he just uses the bass notes of these chords. So D, and this creates this uh, nice chord, so for C sharp, just using the fourth fret of the A string, then for the B, he uses the 2nd fret of the A string and actually the uh, B minor and D major are using the same notes, the relative between each other, so uh, this works nicely. Then when he goes to A, for the A he just uses um, a little lick here. Using, uh, you can use the uh, A major or E major, both would sound fine. And then again we play the second time. And for the second time he just plays the chords, then again adding the bass notes. When he goes to A, he uses this 2 to 4 on the A string as sort of, uh, you know, again, kind of part of a lick or just passing notes or building up to, the, uh, to that B uh, minor chord. So after this, the second part, the last part of the pre-chorus, actually we have uh, another three chords, so it would be B minor to D to E. Right before we go to chorus. So on B minor, it just holds it for one bar. Then we go to D. Okay, so here he does a few licks that he's playing. So he would play. Holding the D chord like that, and then add some hammer-ons pull-offs. So onto the G string we go two, two to four to two, and then onto the D string we have four to open. But at the same time we just hold in fretting the uh, notes of the D major chord, like that, and then 
kind of similar idea when we go to the E but instead of playing the open D we play the fourth fret like that okay so we go in between uh, from B to D And then we have another bar of uh, E major, and then we go into the chorus, which is... So the first time he just plays the chords, the second time he's uh, playing some licks. Okay, so again using the uh, A minor pentatonic, uh, actually switching between major and minor. You know, some things like that. Then he goes back again, plays. And here, when playing in A, you can add also this, this kind of chord. So what I do, I just hold the A chord and then hammer on these two notes. So fourth fret on the D, third fret of the on the B. Okay, and then we are back to the D chord to E, and then there is another line. So this part he's using the sixths and uh, these are mixolydian sixes in the key of E but at the same time the same uh, sixes in the key in the key of A are going to be major Okay, and what he does is just using some slides. You know, something like that. Um, so this is the last time before we go into this last chord, which is again... Right, the E sus2. And then he just adds these li licks, which are being played on the B string 15 fret. And we alternate them with um, the 12th fret on the high E string. And then the last note, just playing 12th fret on the B string. Okay, slides out, and we go into the second verse. All right, so the second verse goes something like this. Okay, so here again you know, uh, when we go through the chords, playing in a uh, um, similar fashion as we did in the first verse. Of course, when we get to the E chord, we play some different licks here. In the first one, again, he's using these uh, mixolydian sixes or um, major sixes in the key of E. Okay, so he's using just these three. And then he does a little lick, so it's kind of fast, you know, sliding into the 8th fret of the B string. And then we have uh, quick pull-offs on the G string, seven, 9 to 7, and uh, on the D string as well. And then, you know, just adding these little licks in between um, the uh, parts, between the chords. And then second time again. 
you can add this like uh, we did previously the hammer-ons pull-offs you know and then again for the second time uh, during the second verse he's playing this little so again hammer-ons pull-offs using the notes from the pentatonic shape so in the key of V and then adds another lick something like that you know again using the uh, notes of the uh, relative major pentatonic or minor it's relevant minor pentatonic uh, whichever way you want to think about it and then again we go into the pre-chorus again the progression is the same of a D chord and then he, again he's adding this you know um, hammer-ons pull-offs okay so this is the first part when we go between D and E chord then when we go for this um, D C sharp minor B minor A what he does is he goes into again using sixes but this time these sixes are relevant to the chords so we go into this one sliding into 11th fret of the G so basically when he goes so when he goes into D he uses this 6 then he goes into C sharp minor and the C sharp minor is relevant its relative major would be E so he uses the 6 from the E, e major then he goes back to the uh, B minor just outlines the chord and when he goes for the A he plays a little lick again okay so it would be again when he goes to A just using um, the uh, major pentatonic A major pentatonic which is the F sharp minor the relevant one just plays a little lick here then he goes back again so we have to play this part two times so he plays D so here he just plays straight chords so from D to adding this bass note so C sharp B minor and then he plays the A and then when we go to the last three chords which is B minor D and E what he does is again he's using the sixes so he goes so each of the sixes um, corresponds to the chord so here we have a D I'm sorry, B minor, which is like we said, it's a relative to the D major, so again, the same six would work. Then we go to D and to E. So 14th fret and 16th fret. Okay, and then he goes back playing the, uh, the uh, chorus. Basically, that's um, that's it for this song. Then he goes into the solo, and he ends the song with uh, this uh, last solo. All right, guys. So that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. 
And if you're interested in uh, learning how to play in the same uh, kind of style, um, you know, the links are going to be in the description box down below. So please check them out. And um, yeah, that's it. Until next time, see you again. Take it easy. And as always, may the force be with you.